Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a removable anchor wizard type project for your kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is a finished view of the project. As you can see, it's attached to the stern of the kayak using a standard trolling motor mount that has a clamping system. And because you use the clamping system, it can be easily removed and placed anywhere on the kayak. And another benefit of this is that you don't have to drill permanent holes as some of the other systems do where you have to keep your anchor system permanently attached to the kayak. So here is your anchor line which is tied off somewhere to a cleat or another spot on your kayak which is fed through the initial pulley here goes up into the pulley tube and I'll show you how that was constructed and then up here in this section is where you have your claw anchor stored and as you go down to this section where the trolling motor shaft would normally be is the lower part of this project and right here you have the trolling motor lever depressed which allows for movement back and forth of this system and that is done using a zip tie and then you also have your tension screw here that keeps this system from moving in a sideways fashion. So let me show you how we got here. This is the view of the bracket and the prototype removed from the kayak and what I'm going to do here is with each of these individual pieces of PVC I'm going to number them and then in the narrative I'm going to put the numbers list what the part is and if I've cut it to length I will list that length to make the design a little bit easier and another thing I wanted to mention is that I have zip tied the release lever for the Minn Kota mount to the prototype in order to make the lever not engage in here and so it moves freely like you saw in the other demonstration This is an exploded view of the prototype and as you can see I've put numbers on all the parts and some of them will have the same number because it's the same part that I didn't have to modify and like I said I will put any lengths that I had to cut with the corresponding number in the narrative and an important thing before you glue everything back together is that you can glue this whole upper section here with the center before you put it back in the Minn Kota mount but you need to wait until you put this section in the mount then you can glue in these two sections with the end caps and tighten it into the trolling motor mount because if you glue everything together before you do that it's not going to work. So remember, do these two sections after you've put it back into the trolling motor mount. This is the section of the one and a half inch PVC pipe that I'm going to be using to make the pulley part. And as you can see up here, what I've done is I've marked both sides of the diameter of the pipe and then brought down this point from that diameter approximately one inch and what you're going to do from here is drill straight through both sides of the PVC pipe so you can put the bolt through there okay so now I've drilled my hole through both sides to run the bolt as you can see there so the next step is to turn this 90 degrees like this and then I'm going to drill another starter hole and then put the notch in for the cable that's going to run through the pipe and out to the pulley okay so here's the next hole I drilled 90 degrees off from the two at the diameter and then I just trace these lines by hand because this is the little notch that I'm going to cut out and I'm just going to use 
a hacksaw blade to cut it out. That way I can do it at an angle and I won't cut the opposite side here. These are the parts that are going to make up the little pulley system. Right here you have a stainless steel hex bolt which is one quarter times 20 and as you can see there's an unthreaded shaft section which is long enough to go through the center of the one and a half inch PVC pipe. Then you have your nut here on the end and here you have your two nylon spacers that are wide enough through the center for the one quarter 20 bolt to slide through. And what that does, since there's no threads here, it's very smooth and it allows this spacer to spin on the shaft of this bolt just like if it was a pulley. And this is what's going to make up that pulley that goes through the center. Now that you've drilled all your holes and made your cut in the PVC pulley tube, you're going to take your bolt that has your nylon spacers on it and then lay it across the top here and you're going to measure where you need to cut these down so they will fit inside the PVC pipe. And once you do that, you can go ahead and finish assembling the pulley pipe. Once the nylon spacers have been sized, I inserted the bolt through one end and threaded both spacers through the bolt out the other side and put the nut on the other side. Now you can notice that there's some play going back and forth with the bolt and that's okay because you don't want to put any pressure on the sides of the pipe that might constrict the bolt from spinning like it does right here. You can always cut off this excess thread part of the bolt if you want. So that's how everything looks and then here's what it looks like inside and you'll notice that there's this little gap here because that's where the two spacers were joined and the best thing to do with that is put some super glue along the edges and get them to stick together that way there's no chance of them coming apart and your cord or whatever you're using to thread through your pulley doesn't get stuck in there. Here's an inside view of the storage tube with the bolt that runs through and then the two nylon spacers that I'm using as a friction free pulley type thing because I couldn't actually fit a pulley in there just so you can see what it looks like. I wanted to give you a closer view of the clearances that I was talking about in the other section of the video. Right here, you can see that you have some clearance over this front cap, so there won't be any binding or rubbing in here. And then down here, you can see the height of this is what makes that very important for this to clear. And then in the back here, by using this three-quarter inch extension, it pushes the flange out far enough so it's not going to bind or rub on the back end of this Mancota mount. And then your slot that you put in here allows for the cord or whatever you decide to use to pull freely and not bind when you're retracting the anchor. Okay, so I wanted to show you what the prototype looks like before I went ahead and painted it because it's easier to see the parts. And right now in the upper tube, I have the claw anchor stored. So now I'm just going to untie it from the cleat that you would have or some other attachment in your kayak and lower and deploy the anchor. So as you can see, it works very well. 
So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.